From the completion of NEOM's first mega project to massive new airports, bridges, and metros all around the world, 2024 is jam packed, full of mega builds that are about to complete. India is building its longest ever sea bridge to connect two thriving regions, while the United States is expanding a nuclear reactor to create the most expensive power plant in all of history. I'm Regis, and today we are counting down the 20 biggest mega projects completing in 2024. Starting with the CL Tower, costing $544 million. In a city already filled with hundreds of skyscrapers, the new CL Tower aims to stand out from the rest of Dubai's skyline with its unique design. The structure is made up of two large towers constructed with glass exteriors that are connected by an atrium that rises 300 meters into the air. With over a thousand rooms, 150 suites, and over 365 meters tall, the Seattle Tower will become the tallest hotel in the world when it opens its doors sometime in the first half of this year. Next up is the reconstruction of the Notre Dame, costing $760 million. After the Notre Dame Cathedral was engulfed by a huge fire in 2019, almost a billion dollars was raised for its restoration. Through a meticulous process of sourcing ancient materials and consulting historians and specialists, they hope to restore the cathedral back to its former glory. French President Emmanuel Macron proposed a host of changes that would have included a rooftop garden and a modern glass spire. However, most of these plans were rejected in favor of a more historically accurate restoration. Workers are now rushing to finish in time for France's hosting of the Olympic Games in July of this year. However, a more likely completion date is December, with reconstruction of the spire continuing at least into next year. With the amount of technical detail though, some experts believe that it could take up to 40 years for the restoration to be fully completed. As you can see, we're using a 3D size comparison to visualize the costs. And believe me, these bars get a lot bigger the deeper we go into this video. Next, we head over to Saudi Arabia, where the first Neom region is nearing its completion, Sindala, with construction costs of $800 million, which is quite cheap compared to the other Neom projects such as the Line. Bordered by white sand beaches and a world-class 86-berth marina, Sindala is Saudi Arabia's ambitious new luxury resort destination. Spread over just 840,000 square meters, the island is over one and a half times the size of Vatican City, or about one-fourth of the size of New York's Central Park for all of our American viewers. Sindala is located within Neom, the country's $500 billion futuristic megacity that has already gained massive international attention for its insane and ambitious megaprojects, such as the Line, Oxagon, and Trojina. We've already covered these megaprojects in great detail, and we'll be making an update on the progress of the Line, Oxagon, and Trojina in one of our latest videos, so be sure to subscribe! Sindala will be the first part of Neom that'll be completed and it's expected to open sometime this year. As much as $800 million has already been put into the project by the Saudi government, and they hope for the island to bring in as many as 2,400 daily visitors over the next four years. What do you think? Would you like to visit Sindala? I know I would, but I'm not sure that I could afford it. We're now crossing the billion dollar mark as we head over to Europe, where Germany is currently building the 4 Frankfurt, costing $1.1 billion. Beginning in the 1970s, the city of Frankfurt has become home to some of the most impressive buildings in Europe, earning it the nickname Manhattan. In fact, out of the top 20 tallest buildings in Germany, 18 are located in the city. Now, an additional four new skyscrapers are about to be completed by the end of this year. Aptly named as the Four Complex, these new buildings will boost the livability within Germany's business capital, with the tallest one reaching 233 meters into the sky. We stay in Europe and head over to Spain, where the new Santiago Bernabeu is nearing completion, with a cost of one and a half billion dollars. After pushing the opening date back a year, Real Madrid is finally planning to inaugurate their revamped stadium in 2024. Some of the biggest changes include a brand new retractable roof and obviously the giant metallic shell around the entire exterior. But it's below the pitch where the Bernabeu is really breaking new ground. A retractable pitch separates into six panels which stack on top of one another underground. This will make the venue more adaptable, making it possible to host sports like American football and basketball, as well as concerts and other performances. 
While the surface is used for events, a storage area 35 meters underground takes care of the football pitch. An irrigation system, UV therapy, and a precise temperature-controlled environment ensure that the grass is in perfect condition all year long. Now we head over to India where the Navi Mumbai International Airport is scheduled for completion this year, costing $2 billion. Just a quick heads up, you might have noticed that we've changed our name from Top Luxury to Mega Builds. This is because we felt that Mega Builds would be a better descriptor of what our channel actually covers. Insane mega projects from all around the world. Now don't worry, everything else is staying exactly the same. The name is the only thing that's changing. So now, let's continue with the video. 35 kilometers east of Mumbai, the Navi Mumbai International Airport will soon open its doors for the very first time. The new airport features three terminals, all encased in a gigantic curved exterior. It'll serve as the second dedicated airport for the Mumbai metro area, whose already huge population is expected to continue increasing over the decade. Once completed, it'll be able to handle as many as 25 million passengers each year, with future expansions bringing that number up to 90 million by 2032. And the airport will integrate with a new mega bridge, the Mumbai Trans Harbor Link, costing $2.2 billion. Recently opened to the public in January, the Mumbai Trans Harbor Link is the longest sea bridge in India and connects the city of Mumbai with the areas of Pune and Goa. Stretching 21.8 kilometers, the bridge allows for six lanes of traffic between both ends. Instead of spending up to three hours driving on land from Mumbai to Navi Mumbai, the new bridge makes the trip possible in just 20 minutes, connecting South India more than ever before. For 2.2 billion, India is hoping that the increased connectivity will boost the economy in both regions. And with around 30,000 vehicles traveling on the bridge per day, it's projected to bring in around $32 million each year. Phase 4 of the Incheon Airport Upgrade for $3.6 billion Incheon International Airport consistently ranks among the best airports in the world. Determined not to fall behind, South Korea has pumped a total of $13.6 billion into upgrading the airport since 1992. The project is now nearing the end of its fourth phase of construction, which has cost $3.6 billion. Upgrades include a brand new 3.75 kilometer runway and an expansion of Terminal 2. This makes it one of the biggest airports in the world, with space to process up to 106 million passengers every year. Designers have taken the chance to implement cutting-edge technology, with features like biometric security screening, artificial intelligence, and sky bridges, controlled by a remote access system. Meanwhile, neighboring Japan is working on the finishing touches for the Woven City, costing $4.6 billion. Near Mount Fuji in Japan, Toyota is building its very own city from the ground up. Why, you might ask? It'll serve as a living laboratory to try out new technologies, from construction and transport to renewable energy and autonomous innovations. Named Woven City, it'll cover 175 acres and be filled with Toyota's latest inventions. It'll be completely integrated with cutting-edge technology, from smart home interfaces to artificial intelligence. Powered by hydrogen fuel cells and solar power, this urban utopia could be a blueprint for the cities of the future. But Woven City is far from just a test center. The city will also have fully livable homes and will start by housing 360 residents, with capacity increasing in the coming years. Next on the list is a bridge connecting the two largest countries in North America, the Gordie Howe International Bridge, for $6.4 billion. Connecting Detroit with the city of Windsor in Canada, the Gordie Howe International Bridge will become the longest cable-stayed bridge in North America once it opens in 2025, providing an alternative to an existing tunnel and the neighboring Ambassador Bridge. Construction began in December 2018 and was originally projected to open in 2024, which is also why we added it to this video, but we realized pretty late on in the process that they've delayed the completion once more. The completion date has now been pushed back to 2025, and the cost has also shot up from $4.3 to $6.4 billion. Stretching two and a half kilometers over the Detroit River, the bridge will be suspended in the air by cables attached to towers 220 meters tall. For reference, that's roughly the height of the Times Square Tower in New York City. We're now reaching the top 10 with phase one of Kidea for a total cost of $8 billion. 
Saudi Arabia has big ambitions for the future, not only in the energy, infrastructure, and real estate industries, also in entertainment. Introducing Kidia, a mega project an hour outside of Saudi Arabia's capital that will combine a whopping 45 different projects into just one. One of the biggest of these projects is the Six Flags theme park, slated to open in October 2024. Interestingly, this isn't the first time a Six Flags theme park was planned to be opened in the Middle East. Back in 2016, construction on a similar project had already begun in Dubai. However, it was ultimately cancelled because of problems with, you guessed it, financing. If the Kadia theme park is completed as planned, developers claim it'll break world records, with the tallest freestanding roller coaster in the world towering over 150 meters in the air and reaching a speed of over 250 kilometers per hour. Would you ever go on such an insanely fast roller coaster? I certainly wouldn't, but that's just me. Let us know if you would in the comments down below. Over in the United States, New York is giving one of its main airports a long-awaited upgrade the LaGuardia Airport Project for $8 billion. After enjoying a golden era as America's premier airport throughout the 1960s, LaGuardia became overly congested and disrupted. Surrounded by residential properties, there weren't any options for expansion either. But now, an $8 billion upgrade is hoping to solve these problems by reconfiguring the layout of the airport's three terminals. Terminal B was completely reconstructed, while Terminals C and D were fused into one bigger structure. These changes have increased the amount of space for passengers, making movement in and out of the terminals easier and more intuitive. In addition, the project has also increased the taxiing area for the planes, resulting in a significant reduction in the congestion and delays that have long plagued the airport. At the core of these impressive construction projects are unique stories and sometimes hidden motives. It's our mission to uncover those and discover the real facts, which is why we're really excited to have Ground News sponsoring this video. Their app and website bring together news from all over the world in one place, so we can compare coverage and see the full story. What they're doing is pretty important, so I encourage you to check it out at ground.news slash megabuilds. The link is down below in the description. Recently, thousands of construction workers were issued fake certifications by a safety school in New York City. On Ground News, I can instantly see 18 different articles published on this story with information about each of the sources. For example, less than 20% of these publications are from the right, making this story a potential blind spot. And interestingly, if we look at who's funding the sources, the majority are corporate and equity-owned, with no independent or government coverage, begging the question, why aren't they covering it? We often discuss the huge budgets for these projects, but we don't often discuss how those budgets can lead to cutting corners and ulterior motives. What I find really interesting about this is looking at how different sources frame the stories. Notice the difference in what they choose to emphasize in these headlines? It's so interesting to read the news this way, where a single word or phrase can actually influence public opinion. This is especially important when it comes to stuff like policymaking and especially elections. So go to ground.news slash megabuilds and subscribe for 40% off their Vantage plan, which is what we use, or try it out for less than a dollar a month. They're independently owned and subscriber funded, and I encourage you to check them out. Thanks again to Ground News for sponsoring this video. Now we head over to Australia, where the new Melbourne Metro Tunnel is nearing completion at a cost of $8.2 billion. Ten years in the making, Melbourne's new Metro Tunnel links train lines in the west through the central business district to suburbs in the southeast. This new underground network aims to lessen the amount of time people spend on their daily commutes. It'll also help ease traffic congestion on the roads above, making travel times between the suburbs and the city center even faster. The government previously announced that the Metro Tunnel would open in 2025, already 12 months ahead of the initial timeline. However, in a massive rarity for the construction industry, the main contractor has announced that they were even further ahead of schedule and would be opening this year. Over in Europe, France is getting ready for the biggest event of the year, the Paris Olympics, costing $9.2 billion. The biggest and most prestigious international sporting event is coming to France this year, the 2024 Summer Olympics. But playing host comes at a big cost, $9.2 billion to be exact. 
It's a gamble to lure investment to the country, boost the country's image, and strengthen economic activity. 11,000 police officers, 25,000 security workers, an athlete's village, and a renovation to the Grand Palais are part of the preparations. In total, there are currently 70 different sites where work is ongoing for the upcoming event. We've covered the preparations for the Olympics in much more detail in one of our previous videos, so we'll be sure to link it in the description and in the top right corner of this video. Next, we head back to North America, Line 5 Eglinton, for $9.5 billion. Line 5 Eglinton is a light rail transit system that'll become the fifth route on Toronto's underground network. The first phase in the western part of the city is made up of 25 stops and covers just under 20 kilometers. The majority of this will run over ground, cutting travel time across the city by more than half. According to the company managing the project, around 98% of the engineering and construction is already done, with mainly testing left to carry out. The first phase of the line is scheduled to open this year. We are now reaching the top five, and we're taking a big leap in construction costs, with the Sydney Metro City and Southwest for $14 billion. Just like Toronto, Sydney is also approaching the completion of its metro line to link all parts of the city through a fast and reliable train network. This year will mark the opening of the first part of the project, which stretches underneath the Sydney Harbour and southbound for 15 and a half kilometers. Out of the eight stations on the line, six of them are new, and all will be opening this year after extensive testing in 2023. The new network will expand the capacity by 60%, allowing for 40,000 passengers per hour. While the trains have a top speed of 100 kilometers per hour, the construction process has been very slow. After the project was delayed multiple times and reviewed twice, the costs blew up by $7 billion to a combined budget of $14 billion. Samsung's chip factory in Texas, $25 billion. Racing against rivals Intel, Micron, and Texas Instruments, Samsung is making its biggest move yet in the United States with a $25 billion chip plant. This new facility is taking shape in Taylor, Texas, a town with a population of just over 16,000 people. Spread over 1,200 acres, it includes a water reclamation facility, an air separation plant, and stations for generating the chemicals needed in semiconductor production. The chip factory will be crucial for the next generation of technology, from artificial intelligence to 5G networks. Moving further south, Mexico is nearing completion of one of its biggest infrastructure projects yet, the Tren Maya, for $28 billion. 2024 marks the completion of one of Mexico's most ambitious transport projects ever. The Tren Maya train line aims to connect various historic sites and tourist destinations within the Yucatan Peninsula, making the area more accessible to tourists. Construction gave a boost to local manufacturers, while the train designs draw from Mayan culture, using the Jaguar as an ancient symbol of power. But traditional designs disguise the modernity of this megaproject, which has cost Mexico an estimated $28 billion to build. The fleet includes 32 diesel-electric hybrid trains that can reach speeds of 176 kilometers per hour. Selected carriages are fitted with gigantic panoramic glass windows designed for viewing the countryside. Connecting tourist attractions is one thing, but creating one is something else entirely. That's what Saudi Arabia is planning to do with one of the biggest mega projects ever seen. The Red Sea Project, $30 billion. Saudi Arabia's mega project in the Red Sea envisions a new center for luxury travel across 22 islands. In total, the entire project spans 28,000 square kilometers. That's almost the size of Belgium. But only 1% of this land is being used, with all structures being kept to a low rise. According to advertising material, the idea is to maximize the value of the natural surroundings, including sandy white beaches, diverse wildlife, and coral reefs. An entirely new airport is even being constructed solely for this project. The Red Sea International Airport will be located at the center of the region, making travel between the many resorts and hotels in the area quick and accessible. The project will also be relatively close to Saudi Arabia's biggest and most anticipated mega-project, Niam, which is around 300 kilometers to the north. The airport, along with many other hotels, are expected to open sometime this year, while the entire project is estimated to be completed by the year 2030 at a $30 billion price tag. And finally, this is number one. 
Plant Votal Reactor 3 and 4 for $34 billion. Nuclear power in the United States is heating up. On the western edge of Georgia, the Plant Votal plans to open two new massive reactors this very year. The first two reactors were finished in the late 1980s, which together have a capacity of 2.43 gigawatts. The third and fourth reactors will almost double this number, and altogether will produce enough power for about a million homes. This will make it the biggest nuclear power station in the entire country. The scale of the operation hasn't compromised on safety though, with multiple layers of concrete, steel, and aluminum all used to block any kind of radiation escaping from the plant. The power plant's expansion is expected to begin operations this year. Which mega project from this video are you the most excited about? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. If you want to see what happens when the most ambitious mega projects go wrong, you should check out our video about the most useless mega projects in the world. Thank you as always for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.